What's going on guys? Dayton here with Optic LED. We are doing an unboxing today for the brand new Slim 600H Gen 2. So very happy to get to do the unboxing for this. Uh, Going to be replacing my old 600H. So what you get in the box is a HLG driver. You get the tools and the brackets to mount the driver. You get the driver dimmer. And you get the connection wire for the master controller if you want to get one. As well as the power cord, depending on where you are, you'll get a different one if you're EU or Canada or America. And you get some stickers too if they are in stock at the store. So let's open this bad boy up and have a little peek here. So we're going to get the light set up here and I'm going to show you guys how I do a light set up here. And I'm going to show you how to set up this light step by step. First you want to put it over on its side, get out your toolkit, take that all apart. The first thing you're going to want to do is loosen the side brackets, uh, loosen the screws a little bit so you can slide it over to the center, line it up, and then you're going to want to tighten those all up. So let's get right into what is new with this upgraded light. So now the Cree XPE Bloom Enhancers have now been taken out and replaced with the brand new, new industry standard, the Samsung LH351H Bloom Enhancers, the deep red and blues. These are the brand new super efficient and powerful LEDs coming out of uh, Samsung just for Bloom Enhancing purposes. And the other thing that's been added is something a lot of people have been asking for for a while now, and that is the UV LEDs. So that is awesome to see the Slim 600H now has UV added. And pretty much for the rest of the light, everything is still the same. Same uh, dimmer, same setup, same industry standard Samsung LM301H diodes. Another nice little added bonus is the brand new LEDs actually have uh, identification uh, letters next to them so you know which is which. So the blue has a B, the red has an R, and the UV has a UV. So you can tell which is which. So let's get back into setting this light up. So you're going to want to line up the bracket holders. So first I recommend uh, just placing your driver where you are going to want to have it set up. Then you're going to want to set up your sliding bracket holders to where they should be. Then you're going to want to set up your brackets, take off your screws from the center. That's where you'll attach the driver. Get the bigger screws out of the bag and then attach the bracket. Line up your driver again to make sure your uh, slider's in the right spot. And then attach the second bracket to the sliders. And then line up the driver itself on the brackets. And then you'll put back the three screws you unscrewed from the bracket. Next, you're going to want to connect the power cords. They have a notch at the top. You'll line it up. The left cord stays on the left. The right cord stays on the right. Super easy. You just plug them in and screw them tight, and that's it. Next, you're going to put on the driver dimmer. It's pretty simple. You just take off the two screws from the uh, slider bracket. Uh, you pop it on there, screw it back in. Hanging is super easy too, even with one person. I start by standing up like this, attach the two to the top, then the two ratchet straps at the bottom, and then I adjust them accordingly. All right guys, we are all set up. We got the Slim 600H Gen 2 all set up here in the 4x4 tent. We are all set up to go. We got everything connected, everything plugged in. So let's take it for its maiden voyage and uh, let's turn this bad boy on see how she looks. Test out these brand new Samsung LH351H diodes, the brand new Bloom Enhancers, the red and the blue, plus the UV is added to this light. All right, so let's turn this bad boy on and see how she looks. Ooh, very nice. It's at 50% power. Check out those new Bloom Enhancers, looking sexy. 
This is the upgraded version from the Slim 600, released late 2019, so this is the brand new model. Upgraded with the newest Samsung technology, and of course, one of the things that everyone was asking for was the UV to be added, and we got the UV added now. Look at this bad boy. Looking sexy. We got a really nice blue glow coming off these uh, blue LEDs, I like that. So like the last version, it gives you the uh, 25 to 50 to 75 to 100% power. That's 100% power, she's pretty bright. Definitely recommend getting some glasses for this bad boy. It is a bright light and uh, yeah, you wanna protect your eyes. So same dimmability as the last generation. It is a bit simplified and better for beginners. When beginners ask for which one they should go with, I usually recommend uh, the Slim 600H to beginners because it just is less complicated than the ones where you have to uh, customize your own. This is the simplified version, the Slim 650S. So you get complete control of all the diodes. You can control the blues on one dial, the reds on one dial, and the clear whites all on one dial too. This one is all connected to one, so you get all the same power in each of the LEDs. Keeps it simple, but you still get awesome results. So yeah, I am definitely looking forward to seeing what this light can do. Had amazing results with the Slim 600H, so with these brand new LEDs on this, I think it's going to produce some awesome results. So stay tuned for this, guys more to come and new grow series coming in right away so stay tuned so now I'm going to show you guys how this light can be set up with the optic LED master controller uh, this is the touchscreen controller you can control everything with this you can have way more control over the power level over this as the settings on this light is only 25 50 75 and 100 percent power so set it up on the master controller you put it on this pwm setting here and that puts it in the controller mode and then you want to connect your jack to the light itself and the controller here so i'm going to show you guys how this works this is on manual mode so here we are at like 10 percent you can get real low down to like five percent one percent so this is the lowest settings pretty much and uh, here we go, we can turn it up for you guys. Dimmability at your fingertips, gotta love it. Very nice, very nice. So we'll turn it up here to 100% full power. Damn, she's bright. That is a bright light. <laughs> My goodness, plants are gonna love this thing. Also, I'll show you guys the sunrise, sunset feature. You pretty much customize it yourself. You go to the timer mode and you can set it as you want. Uh, here I just have a little example of it going up and then coming back down. And uh, you can put it on preview mode and it'll start and go through the clock. So here it is at like 10%, 15%, 25%. And it just keeps going up and up like that like 100% and then it'll start going down. There it goes down. Dimming, dimming, and done. So yeah, the preview pretty much just quickly runs the clock through it so you can just check and see if you like the settings you have already. You can customize it, add more, add less, but pretty much gives you an example how to do this. There you can see what I have set on there. It's just like every one to two hours I have it going up, going down. This is just an example. If you wanted the sunrise to happen all within one hour, you could definitely do that. Uh, if you wanted the sunset all in one hour or in two hours, you can program that. So it's very programmable, easy to use. So this is a really good option if someone wants uh, more customization with their light, more options with the power settings, uh, timer setup, and if they want the sunrise, sunset features, and the master controller can run multiple lights on one controller. It can be daisy chained through the other port there. Lots of commercial growers are taking advantage of that, as well as home growers too who like that uh, extra bit of tech and uh, customization. So yeah, that is the preview of the master controller hooked up to the Slim 600H Gen 2. There's 2,760 total LEDs in this light altogether. There is 2,688 Samsung LEDs, the LM301Hs. And for bloom enhancers, there is 48 pieces of the red 
and 24 pieces of the blue and eight of the ultraviolet LEDs. So this is a really nice upgrade to the older Slim 600H. Get some bonus brand new LEDs in there. Uh, same awesome light. So I'm expecting to see some really awesome grows coming off this light. Its actual power draw is 600 watts as well at a efficiency level of 3.0 umoles per joule. So one of the most efficient lights on the market. Many companies try to save some money and not put as many LEDs, making it not as efficient. Some of them put only like 2.5 LEDs per watt, but these Optic Slim 600Hs have 4.5 LEDs per watt. So it's engineered with efficiency in mind and uh, it also helps the lifespan of the light because less power is needed to go through the LEDs to produce the same amount of light as you would for uh, less LEDs per light. So that is the update, the setup, and the review, guys. Hope you like this video. Very decent upgrade to an already awesome light. And I'll leave you guys with some uh, nice shots of it while it's running and uh, get some close up. Stay tuned for the next series coming up. It's gonna be growing some brand new genetics probably under this light here. And uh, we're gonna see how it turns out. So stay tuned for that, guys. More to come on this light. And uh, until next time, peace out. Catch you guys later.